Okay, today I will talk about the channel. It's been eight months since I published my first video, which was on the 29th of February. There we go. Welcome to my channel, where I share my science career job hunting experiences, deliver presentations related to pharma, quality, documentation, microbiology, and finally, improve on my communication skills. I'm Paul Yateman, a Bachelor of Science graduate with a double major in microbiology and immunology and 15 years of pharmaceutical manufacturing experience. I'm seeking a post-redundancy return to the lab. As well as here, I can be found on LinkedIn, Twitter, and my microbiology blog, and perhaps also on my graphic design blog, considering what I will talk about. Be sure to check those resources out to get access to more about me and how my skills and experiences can potentially help you. If you are one of my 26 subscribers, hey, welcome back. Uh, before you go any further, smash on that like button uh, and share the video if you like, as it helps out the channel's popularity and we might get more videos going. Today, I will discuss how the channel has performed since I created it eight months ago. I'll look at mainly audience engagement, views, subscribers, and likes. I'll detail a little of how I have categorized my videos and what people seem to like best. Roll intro. Okay, getting into the contents. First up, the site performance summary. At the time of recording, I have 26 subscribers who have watched my videos 416 times in the last 28 days for a total of 19 hours. My top videos in the last 48 hours are my off-topic drawing videos. Uh, overall, my autoclave validation and audit considerations video has the most views at 573 followed by Still Life 2 at 339, which is pretty good considering I only posted the video up two days ago. And the next is Still Life 1, which was the first drawing video I posted, and that was 86 views. And after the first day, which is about a week ago, that was up to 83. So I was like, hmm, looks like people like to see drawing videos. Let's see if we can get some momentum going with those. And who knows? Life has changed and this channel, the whole theme of it might change over time. But we'll review that in uh, at the 12 month period. So getting on to types of videos. I have four main categories aligned with the main purpose of this channel. And that is to demonstrate my pharmaceutical regulatory knowledge, as well as share my job hunting ex experiences in order to help other job seekers. Uh, these are concepts in 90 seconds, job interview advice, the job hunt, and then critical thinking, auditing, and training, which are my longer format uh, training videos. In the last week, I got back into drawing and decided to upload videos of this because I figured, why not? It's easy to do. It doesn't take much time. Uh, have a lot less work than doing a formalized video with scripts and whatnot. To accommodate this, I added the arty farty playlist. I've uploaded the videos to what I consider my professional channel, as in this one, as that perhaps it will build interest around the professional channel, or maybe everything will just go towards drawing. Uh, the idea here is to get clicks, clicks on the meat of the channel, eyes on the videos, uh, boots on the moon, as people might say. Based on views, as I've probably alluded to more than once, the drawing might become the meat and spuds of this channel. Moving on to audience engagement. I'll let, moving on to audience engagement. So I've slowly built my subscribers up to 26. Uh, so it's only another 71 to go until I reach my initial target, which was a very modest 100 subscribers. My videos tend not to get any likes and hardly any get watched to the end and the majority of comments have been spam. Uh, there's been about three comments where there's been actually any audience engagement. So slow build, maybe it's like a snowball falling down a hill. For the channel to build, subscribers and engagement needs to go up. 
the most engaging videos appear to be the still life ones so i'll definitely do more of those uh, i think maybe what people like is i'll tend to set up the objects i'm going to draw and have my sketch pad next to it so people can say hey, okay here's the reference him or here's the reference objects can you do anything that looks anything like it critical thinking auditing and training videos appear to be the next most popular with my autoclay validation video being the winner and interestingly when i posted that as a pdf years ago that's been like the all-time most popular thing i've ever put on the internet is autoclave uh, validation and auditing i cannot build out my audit and autoclave video out to be sort of more videos because it's a pretty narrow topic uh, but that's why i do the other training videos and one thing that is you don't want to be too narrow because as i've spoken in other videos specialists tend to cark it we want to have like longevity here apparently the likes get the video suggested to others more so Ooh. i need to work out how to determine how to get you all to click on that thumbs up button any suggestions from our viewers and if you are watching thumbs up thumbs up what has worked and what has not worked so one afternoon i created and filmed the science in 60 seconds videos and scheduled uploads for those every few days the idea here was that maybe people will check out the short videos and stay for the longer ones i don't think that worked particularly well and those videos didn't perform particularly well either um, let's have a look the best ones of those came in at scrolly 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 pans 60 seconds uh, best we got with maybe 10 likes on any of those videos so definitely they didn't work the plan there was for potential employers to find me online and then investigate me further and also for job seekers to find some value I don't think any of that's happening the training and compliance videos seem to do okay though the analytics showed that the viewers jump ship quite early they are fairly niche or at least narrow subjects so perhaps they will not do well in the long term but at least i'm brushing up on my training skills both in designing training programs and then delivering them so hopefully uh, my diction improves and my public speaking improves and how i deliver training improves which is good for me uh, because hopefully that helps me in say a job interview and also leading teams and whatnot but it should also help you guys because you don't sit there going hmm, what the hell did he just say after a week it seems like my most popular videos are the drawing ones the first still life video i posted got 80 hits in less than a day a few more videos in and my next still life video is up over 300 views and i only posted that on the 2nd of november and it's now the 4th so that's pretty good performance for my channel <laughs> if i was looking at my channel you know purely how do i get my eyeballs on the screen then I would definitely be concentrating on the drawing to the expense of all the other videos and for the time being we're going to still be diversified even the drawing videos have people jumping ship early on I will be having all of these videos run for about 10 minutes regardless of how long it takes to draw whatever it is I'm drawing so if a video takes 10 minutes it will be at real time if it took 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes as long as it's taking me to draw a picture I'll compress that down to about nine and a half minutes and then the last 30 seconds the plan to be the actual finished product on screen which like gives you the chance to put up the little subscribe button in the the playlist uh box as well so it doesn't detract from the main contents uh looking at the free stuff youtube provides regarding audio i'm thinking of including that with the during videos because otherwise you'd sit there watching a screen with no audio and that may not drive viewer engagement at this stage i'm planning on one of the drawing videos a day more because it's easy to film me drawing and edit the videos with a little investment in time because the most editing is speed the thing up and put an image of the final product into the video at the end rather than writing a script and filming it and editing it out anything that doesn't come across too well or editing out the multiple takes or bits of audio like that because i don't think editing was pronounced too clearly so i would get rid of that in a video normally which i've left that in just for comparison purposes today uh, by comparison the job hunting videos and compliance and training vids uh, they'll still get made as you 
can see from my schedule which I will now put up on screen uh, these videos take longer to produce as I need to write scripts set up a green screen edit out most of my fumbling over words which I've said and add the start and exit screens and then I'll also watch the video to see if there's anything else that could be improved sometimes I leave in uh, multiple takes so you gotta chop out one of the takes and leave the best one in getting on to the summary I've posted a variety of videos to see what you people like and it seems that the drawing ones are winning I will review the channel's performance in another four months so that's after a year of actual operation and see what videos did best and probably target my videos more towards that if you have found this video interesting or informative perhaps entertaining subscribe to my channel to easily see when new content is added click on the thumbs up button to like the video as it will help me grow my audience and allow me to improve my offerings on this platform also share that video if you have something to say perhaps a topic you would like me to present on or even some positive feedback or negative who knows then leave a comment until next time this has been Paul Yateman a Bachelor of Science graduate seeking career satisfaction Kabla!